Hello students, today we are going to know about angles. What an angle is, how to form an angle, how to define an angle, what are the parts of angle and types of angles. So let's get ready. When two line segment or two rays intersect, they form an angle. This is nothing but an angle and this is an intersecting or meeting point. It's what I have said when two line segments and rays intersect at a point. They form an angle. Okay. Now, if we talk about angle, you must have seen angle. If we talk about angle, the point at which they intersect is called vertex. Vertex is an intersection point or we can call it in simpler language as meeting point meeting point now we can see two rays this these two rays are called arms of an angle arm this is arm 1 and this is arm 2 and this opening is called turn. Okay. This space between these two rays is called, these two arms is called turn. If we increase the turn, the measure of angle will increase. If we decrease the turn, the measure of angle will decrease. Let's suppose if these two arms overlap on each other. That means it will be like this is first arm and you just collapse it on this so other one will also be on this like this so the measure of angle is zero degree okay the amount of angle or the amount of turn is measured in degrees okay we'll read it as degree okay if there is no gap no turn no gap between two arms it will be zero degree if there is some gap we'll let's suppose it's 20 the gap is 20 so we'll call it 20 degree okay so naming an angle we basically need three alphabet for naming an angle first we put an alphabet here Let's suppose here I have put A, this is B and this is C. You can take any alphabet, any letter as per your choice. Okay. Now, first thing is the symbol used for representing angle is this. This is the symbol. This is a symbol used for representing an angle. Now, for naming angle, what we do, we need to put the vertex on the middle. We need to take care. We keep in mind that the vertex should be in the middle while writing. So, we will first of all write the symbol. Then we will write A, B, C as B is at the center. If you write angle B, A, C for this one, it will be wrong because at middle point, at center, vertex must be there. But here it is A. A point is here. A is not the vertex. So, the only thing to consider and keep in mind is that your vertex must be at the center while writing the name of the angle. So, while naming, consider two things, two important things. 
first one is that this symbol is used used for naming angle right next is you three letters are used for naming angles naming angle and third most important tip is vertex stays at the middle while naming an, an angle that's it if you know these things it's very easy simple if you practice more and more you will be able to write the name of an angle if you have understood naming angles then try this one what we have to do here name any four angles so pause for a while and do this okay so what we need to keep in mind that we'll start with this symbol while naming angle for so we need four angles so we'll write this symbol four times now for first one and second thing to keep in mind that vertex must be in the middle so vertex here is this o vertex is the meeting or the joining point so o will be at the center if we take this angle this angle that means this one so it will be a o and b a o b if we take this angle between arm ob and oc so it will be b o c if we take this one it will be c o d c o d and we need to write one more angle so can we just forget this take arm OA and OC. Can we write AOC? AOC will be this angle. Taking these two arms together. So these are angles and this is all about naming angle. Types of angles. Angles according to their measure can be categorized as acute angle, acute angle acute angle its measure lies between 0 degree to 90 degree it's between 0 to 90 degree that means it will be less than 90 degree and greater than 0 degree so angle forms like this this is an acute angle its measure could be from 1 degree to 89 degree. 1 degree till 89 degree. Now, after acute angle, its right angle. Right angle has a measure of 90 degree. And we draw it as this L. And we represent it as this this is 90 degree or right angle after right angle we study about obtuse angle obtuse angle has measure between 90 degree to 180 degree that means it is greater than obtuse angle if you write it as oa obtuse angle is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree it measure lies between 91 degree till 179 degree it will be obtuse angle how do we draw this we draw it like this is the horizontal arm and this is the vertex it will be like this this is an obtuse angle after obtuse angle straight angle straight angle has a measure 
180 degree exactly 180 degree that means if one arm is toward right then other will face toward left this is 180 degree right angle uh, sorry straight angle after straight angle we will discuss reflex angle reflex angle is r a that means greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree this is a reflex angle and last is complete angle complete angle means 360 degree complete angle means this is the base arm and other one is overlapping on it and this is 360 degree now now i'm going to stretch my hands and you have to identify what type of angle is this so if i do like this what type of angle is this which one straight angle correct if i do it like this right angle if i do it like this which angle is this acute angle if i do it like this which angle is this do with me obtuse angle correct so we have these type of angles acute angle right angle obtuse angle reflex angle straight angle zero angle and complete angle in next video we'll study more about geometry till then keep learning stay safe stay home and keep learning with our me and math app thank you